Centralize your cooling with the C750 Central Thermal Efficiency Chassis by Thermaltake. Take on new layouts with a newly rotated motherboard design, even more vertical GPU layouts, and multi-directional cooling configurations supporting up to 420 millimeter radiators in multiple locations. This is our new form factor with features we have never done before. Let's dive in. The C750 kicks off our latest full tower chassis design, a new form factor, if you will, we call centralized thermal efficiency. The C750 offers a toolless panel design and built-in filters to keep everything nice and clean. This full tower EATX case offers plenty of space for cables and controllers, and with the PSU mounted in the back, it opens the door for cooling and components. With the power supply mounted behind the motherboard tray, just look at all that space you got back there. As we prep our primary components, drop in some tough RAM DDR5 to match up nicely with our motherboard, rotated by the way, our centerpiece of this case now has a home. We'll continue removing the rest of the front and top panels to gain access to the cooling brackets. Each bracket has four screws to remove, allowing you to install your cooling outside the case. We'll also remove the optional storage bracket to use the slotted bracket behind it for the AIO in this build. Four more screws hold down the optional DIY mount and bottom cooling bracket. Then we can move to the back panel and remove it as well to get ready to dive into some serious cooling. If you have not seen our new Swafan EX in all white, then get ready for this build. With multiple ways for you to cool with, the C750 delivers with removable brackets for a straightforward installation. Utilizing the screws included with the fans or with the AIO, the C750's slotted brackets give you plenty of wiggle room to pack it all in. Take advantage of endless configurations for cooling with distros, radiators, fans, and AIOs. One of my favorite places to mount AIOs is next to the motherboard. With our new TH420, this triple 140 rad fills the slot nicely. Next, we'll apply our thermal paste to the CPU and install the pump, securing it down with the four screws. Don't forget to take that sticker off. We'll drop in the bottom fan bracket first and then bring the side brackets in to secure them next. I sure do enjoy working with these new SWA fans, allowing me to not deal with any cables right now and focus on just the fan installation. You should try it. There are multiple ways for you to mount your graphics. With standard GPU configurations already vertical, dedicated AIO GPUs have new locations as well to play with. The C750 can support graphic cards up to 370 millimeters in length, while still retaining both rad and fans on the bottom. With the optional GPU bracket and riser cable sold separately, see your GPU like it's never been before. The remaining panels on the case snap back into place with ease, installing the optional filters, and then the cover panels snap in nicely without the need for one screw. I love it. The C750 brings a lot to the table with the most cooling we have ever done in a full tower chassis. Fresh look with the centralized CPU placement with maximum room for your graphics and cooling. The C750 delivers for enthusiasts looking for high-end cooling configurations. What's your take on the new C750 by Thermaltake? Let us know down in the comments below. And don't forget to follow us for more right here at Thermaltake. Thank you